Hi there. Okay, weekly multifamily syndication tip. And this comes from uh, my experience over the last three years. Three years ago, I had three single family homes. Now I control $54 million worth of real estate and it's primarily multifamily properties. Uh, so what I was able to do in order to get from three years ago, three single family homes to now um, a whole lot of properties on multifamily, a 168 unit, a 250 unit, a 155 unit, and a 320 unit is uh, three things. And obviously there's a lot of sub bullets underneath each of these three things, but here's a high level uh, approach that I took. One is I got my hands dirty and I did it myself. So on my first multifamily deal, I did everything from raising the money to managing the property management company, which is asset management, um, looking at uh, the due diligence reports, getting in there, um, and working on the financing, getting all the pieces in place that you need to have in order to make it happen. Then the second step of the process that I got from where I was three years ago to today is I identified what I was good at. Uh, I believe we all have special talents. We're all here uh, with a purpose, in my opinion, and we're all really good at one thing, um, maybe multiple things, but definitely at least one thing. And what I identified for my uh, special talent within this industry is sales and marketing. So that's why I do the daily podcast, that's why I do these videos, and that's how I'm able to really grow and scale my business because I bring in more investors, we buy properties together and we share the profits. So what I did once I identified that is I moved to step three and that is I brought in team members who could complement my background with their expertise. Uh, so I brought in team members who are phenomenal at underwriting. I'm good at underwriting, but I'm not phenomenal at it. I brought in people who have been doing it longer um, than I have, many, many more years longer than I have, um, as well as great property management, uh, partners, etc. So one, get your hands dirty, do it yourself. Then two, identify from those responsibilities what are you really good at, and three, bring in partners, and then, then scale your business that way. Hope you enjoyed this tip. If you did, subscribe below, and I'll talk to you next week.